Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't know about you, but I've noticed in the time that we're in, in the season that we're in, you know guys, a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ are having crisis. They're in a crisis. A lot of brothers and sisters in Christ are, are ending up in the mental hospital. A lot of brothers and sisters in Christ are having car accidents. You know, they're having, um, you know, midlife crises. They're, the devil's really hitting them hard. Some of them are falling back into addiction. Some of them are falling back into sin cycles. You know, guys, right now, for some reason, I've noticed, I could be wrong, but I've noticed this. I can almost discern this, that there's a lot of demonic attacks right now. You know, guys, and I just want to share that whether, you know, whether you're going through a heavy demonic attack right now, or whether, you know, you're just going through an everyday, you know, life, every day of the week, you know, kind of day, you know, guys. Jesus is always ready to help you. You know, guys, it doesn't matter, you know, um, if it's a flat tire or if someone's trying to kill you. Whatever it is, God wants to help you with a flat tire. God wants to help you, you know, with avoiding getting killed. Or whatever it is, you know, guys, and, you know, arguments, you know, guys, whatever it is, God is always ready. You know, nothing is too small or too big for him, for him to help you. He is an ever-present help in a time of need. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And to be honest, I don't know. I literally don't know what you're going through right now. A lot of God's children are very humble. And even when their life is being turned upside down through whatever hardship they're going through, normally God's children don't ask for help. They don't ask, you know, other people for prayer. You know, guys, they just soldier on. And, you know, guys, I just want to share in this video that if you trust the Lord, and you keep on talking to the Lord, you will get through what it is you're getting through. He will make a way for you, my brother. He will make a way for you, my sister, whatever you are going through. So I just want to share with you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to trust the Lord. He helped you with the small things, so He's going to help you with the big things. Whatever it is, you know, guys, I discern that there's a lot of demonic attacks at the moment. You know, guys, the, the enemy has really been attacking God's children. And I think it's because there's a great amount of blessing coming, a great amount of, you know, provision coming. There's a great amount of healing coming. There's a great amount of anointing coming. There's a great amount of shift coming for God's children. I think the enemy... The enemies, these demons, these high up demons in the higher heavens, you know, are, are experiencing a defeat. And demons normally attack you heavily when they're about to be defeated or you're about to get a major blessing. You know, guys, I'm not a theologian. I'm not a Bible scholar. I'm not even a pastor. You know, guys, but I'm saying this in faith. You know, guys, so I don't know what it is you're going through. But hallelujah, we go from glory to glory. We go from victory to victory. You know, guys, each day has enough worries for itself. It says, you know, the righteous person goes through many troubles, but God delivers him from them all. You know, guys, when I read that, I was like, wow, does it really say them all? You know, guys, I'll share that scripture. It says, the righteous man may go through tro many troubles, but God delivers him from them all. Whether it's a small trouble or a huge trouble, it's just in God's eyes, it's, it's about this small. You can barely see it, but he cares about the small and the big ones. He cares about you. He loves you so much. Your name is written on the palm of his hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Your name is written on His heart. Hallelujah. It says, He is a mighty warrior who rejoices over you with singing and dancing. You know, guys, in Isaiah 53, it says he's, He took our iniquities. He suffered for our, for our well-being. You know, guys, He suffered so that we wouldn't suffer. You know, guys, hallelujah. You know, guys, the amazing love of God is so deep that we can only take we can only take little bits of it you know guys I know that at times in my life God reveals his love to me in different ways in different revelations and it's breathtaking you know guys it depends you know guys sometimes you know guys people are talking about God's love and you're like oh yeah yeah God's love but other times when you're in his presence and you're having that revelation of who God is and he, and how much he loves you and how you know, it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make. It doesn't matter how, you know, many steps you take away from Him. It only, still only takes one step to come back to Him. We serve an amazing God. And, you know, I'm here tonight to say He can see your struggle. He can see your pain. He can see what those people are doing to you. He can see it all. You know, guys, and I know He's saying to someone tonight, just trust me. You know, guys, vengeance belongs to me, saith the Lord. You know, guys, you know, guys, God, the righteous man goes through many troubles, but God delivers him from them all. You know, guys, hallelujah. Trust the Lord. He is an ever-present help in a time of need. And when was the last time we were not in a time of need? You know, as it says in John 15, without him, we can do nothing. Trust the Lord. He loves you. He's going to turn, you know, beauty out of your ashes. He's going to, you know, wipe away every tear. You know, guys, you know, guys, hallelujah. Jesus loves you. Push through. You know, guys, the victory is in Jesus' name. See you guys. Bye.